All right, Lenny is packed full of crap, uh, completely unorganized, and that's totally fine. Let's go into the wilderness. <laughs> space to do some free camping and the route that it was taking me was maybe 10 or more miles on a really bumpy dirt road and given that I just bought this van which is just a minivan uh, I decided that maybe I wouldn't do quite as much off-roading on my very first excursion so I pulled over opened up the app again and I found that I was very close to another recommended place um, which is where I am now I'm really not that far from Tucson, 45 minutes, something like that. Um, and I have seen a car go by, but I think probably be fine. So I'm going to uh, set up my bedding and then I'm going to make some dinner. All right. So step one was I got the bed set up. It's uh, just uh, like a sleep mat. I think Owen got it Target or something. And then a sleeping bag. And this is just a top sheet. I'll sleep on top of those two things. And there were some, there were two pieces of the carpet from the car left over, and you can see that there's tracks where the seats were. So I just took these two long pieces of carpet and I put them over the tracks that are on this side, thinking it'll make it a little more comfortable. And that's uh, Daniel Danknugs Boone, who was Owen's teddy bear, but I think will be joining me on my uh, van journey. So now it's time to set up dinner. hard to do while you're looking through the phone. There we go. Guess I'll just trust that I'm holding the phone correctly. <laughs> I swear to God, this is normally a lot easier than this. There we go. There we don't go. This fills you with a lot of confidence, doesn't it? About me living on my own in a van for a bunch of months. Well, anyway. Little Boca Burger out in the middle of nowhere, very close to civilization. So only nowhere if you don't have a map. It's pretty gorgeous. Mmm. Watching a middle-aged guy eat. That's what YouTube is all about. If you uh, if you opened your computer today or your phone and you thought. You know, all these beautiful people like sailing boats around the world and stuff, that's cool. I mean, that's fine if you want to do that. But is there any place I could watch a middle-aged guy eat a veggie burger? Well, the answer is yes, my friends. It's right here. It's the simplest thing in the world. I mean, I made something it took like five minutes to make. I didn't have to start a fire. You know, I, I had a propane tank. I got a car to sleep in. I mean, it's not like I'm not Grizzly Adams out here. Um, but I got to say, I'm just thrilled. This is just the kind of thing I don't do. And I'm excited to start incorporating stuff like this into my life and to feel like more of a person. I'm just really digging it. It's a great Boca burger. Uh, not sponsored yet and uh, I haven't had the asparagus yet but that's going to come next and there might be some rain coming through tonight which would actually be awesome it hasn't rained very much out here at all this has been a super dry monsoon season uh, so some rain would be great and I would love to be lying in the car uh, with the sound of the rain so we'll see what happens but me and Lenny and uh, Daniel Danknugs Boone are uh, having a great time I don't know if you can hear that noise out there, but I think that's a curved build thrasher.
My son John referred to my dinner tonight as burgers and spares. And actually the uh, spares came out pretty nice. Pretty tasty, a little olive oil, a little fresh air. When I was a kid, any other 70s kids out there? When I was a kid, there was a toy. I, maybe Fisher Price? That was a billy goat. And I think you could like feed it pieces of plastic hay in its mouth and then like uh, pump the tail up and down and it would eat it. Does anybody else remember that? I haven't ever Googled it, which I probably would solve this question in three seconds. But I do seem to remember that that existed, that either I had it or my cousin Lynn had it. Plastic billy goat. Don't remember if it pooped. The moon's just peeking out from behind the clouds. A lot of birds out here I haven't heard before. I'm using the uh, BirdNet app from Cornell to try and identify them by their calls. It's so beautiful. So I'm in the van. It's uh, it's definitely warm. I'm also thinking this may be convincing me to rip out the back, the inside of the back of the van, because this is a fairly small bed I'm sleeping on. I mean, probably narrower than a twin, and well, it's not a bed. I mean, but you know, collection of things I'm sleeping on narrower than a twin, I would think. And I don't know if there'd be enough room for cabinets and a sink and stuff. There might be. I'll, th I'll think about it. But it might need a little more room back here. Anyway, I'm going to turn in. Uh, I've got the back window vents open and the uh, front windows cracked a little bit and hopefully that will help a little. It's going to get down only to about 78 tonight. I'll see you in the morning. It's just about 5 a.m. The sun won't be up for about half an hour. This is around when I normally wake up, usually because a cat jumps on me, but there's no cat with me right now. And you probably can't see this, but Orion is right in the center of this shot. I highly doubt it's going to pick up on my phone. <laughs> uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous. There's a rooster. It sounds like somewhere uh, off in the distance. Don't know what it's growing at because it's still dark. I slept pretty well. A um, little discomfort on my back, to be totally honest. Just to think the surface is a little hard. But uh, generally speaking, I slept pretty well. It's gotten a lot lighter. You can hear a ton of curved build thrashers out there. That's the Beep you guys there. This was super fun. And it was so useful because I just really had no idea what the experience would be like and what it might mean about the van and my thoughts about it. I've had a lot of thoughts about it as a result of doing this, so uh, I'm really glad I came out here. Now it's probably time to return to civilization, grab a shower, and uh, head to the radio station.